Hey, hey, this is Julian and you are on Eat the Blocks. And in this video, I'm going to explain you Ether Unit, so GUI, GUI, etc. But first, why are we even talking about this in this series on Ethereum gas? If you remember the previous video, I explained that transaction fees are measured in gas, but they are paid in Ether. So we need to be able to switch between gas and Ether. And for that, we're going to use the concept of gas price. Or in other words, how many units of ether are we willing to pay for one unit of gas? However, we have a problem because the price of Ethereum is quite high. So currently it's $184. So this gas price will just be a very small fraction of $184. So can we have some unit smaller than a full ether? Yes, and actually there are many of them. So here on this converter of unit for Ethereum, then you can see the main unit here, Ether, but the smallest unit is actually called Way, and this is a very, very small fraction of an Ether. One Way is actually equal to 10 power minus 18 Ether. And after, we also have many other intermediary units between Way and Ether. So we have Kwe, we have, uh, I don't know how to say this one, <laughs> Mue. And here, the most important one is Gwe. So 1 Gwe equals 10 power minus 9 Ether. That's also a very small number. And in terms of dollar, this is just equal to a small fraction of a US dollar. So Gwe is very important because that is the unit that is used to express a gas price. But for the other intermediary unit like Zabo, Mue, Kwe, you can forget all of this. So there are actually three things you need to remember here. So Ether, Gwe, and way. These are the three most important Ethereum units. Hey, by the way, guys, if you are also learning Solidity, make sure to get your hands on my top five Solidity tips. These are the most useful things I've learned over my two, three years of using Solidity. You can get it for free if you just follow the link in the description. All right, that's it for this video on Ethereum unit. If you want to access this Ethereum unit converter, just go to this address. And in the next video, I'll explain you how the gas cost of a transaction is calculated.